Okay, um, hello. Welcome back, my guys. Today I'm gonna show you a vault that I just built recently. Yes. Yes. Get them bats. Dude, there were 50 mats in the system. So much COVID. Okay, so this is the system. Basically, this is how it works. So first you enter here. Let's say that you don't have a key. What will you do? First, There's an analog lever. What is what? Take a lever. Just pull the lever down, and to even lay it on the way up. There you go, he entered the first gate. Here we have a small little area. In front is uh, a few piston extension poles that's blocking. Just press this. Oh sorry, not that even. Just leave press that. Opens the gates. And inside nothing. Unless you put something in there, for example. See the lever. <coughs> Jesus. Let's this one. Place all the stuff in here. Netherite, gold, diamond. Whatever you want. This place is also a good uh, containment area. Let's say there's a car inside. <coughs> or you just want to let a person stay inside forever. Just <coughs> flick the lever, it'll just lock them in. Unless they're animals. If they're humans, then you can just. Finish your job, so sleep, you're fine. So the way I made it is that you can you can schematic if I want to, but sure. So the way I made that little vault area is like this. Uh, and these things. Snush. Two bats, okay. So the way it works is that inside there are these redstone links. Let me get one of them for you just for now. Okay, so here's the link. This all looks like this. If you shift right click without a wrench, you turn it to this. It'll receive signals. 
Like for example, if I power this, you power this. That's how it works. Now inside there are some uh, redstone torches, and behind those redstone torches are blocks and redstone links like these. Now I made them receive a signal. So if I press this lever, it'll activate the uh, redstone link that sends out signal to activate those that are receiving the signal, which deactivates the redstone torches and makes it open. Simple. After that, if you deactivate it, it'll just return back to its normal state. Now here is the most interesting part. This is not piston, you know. This is those uh, mechanical pistons. Very interesting, right? So, I did the same thing with these doors. Let's the link, send out signal. The link is out receiving signal. Then it will deactivate the torch. It will activate one side of the torches, which will pull open the gates. Open. Mm, it's probably a bit complicated, so let me show you right now. It is so the way that it works is that let me show. You. Okay, so this is the door itself, right? Now the way it works is that there's a lever inside that room, which will send out a signal to these things. There's this frequency channel number two. So if it gets the same one, it'll uh, deactivate these pistons and put it back. But that's not an easy task because you have to do some real magic magic thing that I'm not good at. So the most easiest way is to use a gear shift. Just place them at the side, place some motors, then it'll just push the pistons forward, right? So if you want to put it back, you have to use these redstone links to power the gear shifts that will like make it uh, go back the other way. Like if you're supposed to go front, then you go stun. You just go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Right? Simple. Same thing for the other side, but there's a um, small issue here, right? Ah yes, the small little issue where if I place this, it just doesn't really do anything. So I came up with a solution where I just place some um, of these redstone links right behind the torches. These activated, so it will deactivate these redstone torches, deactivate the gear shift, make them pull backwards, and the uh, doors will be open. That's sort of complicated, right? Lappy Ground beef <laughs> yeah. the TV of the system. It's pretty simple. It's not too complicated. Unless you play me to create. Then you can have to make the weeks to understanding how the things work out is the system work. When is it? Yeet. Open the door. Close the door. Press that. Like that, it'll pull open the gates. I'll push back the gates. Like here. It activates. I can't do it unless you have three levers or three analog levers. So consider it good. You can do it here. Oh, sorry. Game mode survival. Let's see one to break it. 
is very time consuming, you have to punch these blocks open. You have to put them back. You have to spend a bit more time just to break it. Even if you're in, you can't get out unless you break yourself out. You just remind it. People will notice and soon enough you're gone. Ta -da. So unless you have some special things like a I don't know a pickaxe and you can break in through the outside area. Or you can just go in from the inside. Like me. I just think it's best not to break into the So yeah, I think that's gonna be today's video. So I'll make a summary again. This is about there's some systems in it, redstone torches, redstone links, gear shifts, motors and inside you have to use levers as keys in order to get in or you can break in by manually which is by using pickaxe or your fist there are double chests let's see for example let's use water for an extra strong system that one but there is a way to strengthen your system That is to use facility is submerged in water. So if you it's gonna be pretty hard if you want to get out. Once what makes it even more worrying is that there's obsidian outside. <laughs> Yeah, let's not finish out for this video. So imagine if you have layers of obsidian around and roof. It'll be very hard to breach unless you dig under. Then maybe there's obsidian too if we have a lot of time. And that's pretty simple. A vault. Easy to break in. But if it's fortified, then it's kind of hard to get out. So I hope you enjoyed this complicated and mind-bending video and uh, if you like it, like and subscribe, if not, just flip the screen upside down and press the like button, <laughs> simple. Oh and also if you don't like the video, also unsubscribe as well, <laughs> if I'm not restricting you, not keeping you hostage, you can do whatever you want. Also, if you have free time, maybe comment, who knows, maybe it can help generate future ideas. So, um, I think that's all I'm gonna record for today, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Anyways, enjoy this weekend, because it's not gonna last forever, and I'll see you next time. Bye.